X-Men Days of Future Past, Short Moon Review, 3D. Logan is sent back in time to prevent Mystique from assassinating Oliver Trask. He is creating the Sentinel program, and Sentinels are big humanoid robots that can adapt to any mutant's powers and is thus extremely capable of killing them. And in the future, the murder of him will have increased the number of Sentinels. And the, the murder of him simply proves to excuse me, the American government that Sentinels are indeed necessary. And yeah, it leads to a dystopia with a little bit of a Tron feel and that is not acceptable. So Wolverine, for, you know, because of fan interest, is chosen to be sent back and he now has to stop Mystique all the while having to actually, you know, get Xavier and Magneto back together and, yeah, getting Magneto out of jail as well. And, yeah, this is a really fun film. The, the core concept is kind of, you know, think Terminator if the, the killer robot was already in the past. And, yeah, it's basically, it is about Xavier, Magneto, and Mystique. Their relationship with each other on, you know, both independently of the third person in that trinity and with the third person, where Mystique is kind of representative of which approach is better. Uh, you know, Xavier's hopeful, all-inclusive, or Magneto's, you know, more, more dominant. And at the same time, she is her own person. She exists entirely independently of the two of them, and she will make her own decisions. And there is some fantastic drama involving the three of them. And, yeah, it, it really grips you, and... As I believe Mr. Repsion said, this is more of a drama than an action film, and it really works. As a, you're, you're never bored, and the drama comes from just is mainly these three characters. You do have some beast in there, and Wolverine is kind of just present. He's off to the side. They don't use him all that much, and I, I didn't really miss him. Being, we've had plenty of Wolverine in the movies. But I do think that it it would have worked fine if it had been someone else traveling, because Wolverine really isn't particularly necessary for this. And, yeah. So, this has some great set pieces that you're really going to remember after... I mean, you see in the trailer Magneto lifting a stadium. Yeah, that... Trust me, you don't see the best of that in, in the trailer. Quicksilver is awesome. He is, it, he is one of those things that you could basically remove from the film without... I mean, the character is only there for a short period of time, but he steals the show. He is so much fun. He's basically ADD in mutant form. And, like... He has time for nothing and no one. When when you first see him, first he's playing ping pong, then he rushes over to play pong with himself all along, you know, and, and when he's playing pong the, the you know, points just go up insanely fast. And like there's this bit where he's on an elevator and he's just like can't you know he wants it to go faster, he's extremely bored, and he has this one big bit where he is moving around an, around an area, and he is affecting things, and he is, 
you know, he's having fun. And while it's also important what he's doing, and the whole thing is set to this pop song, which I, if I recall is even about, you know, oh, we never take enough time or there's never enough time, for something like that. It's just, it's so much fun. And yeah, they, and this movie really shows that Singer is back. The man knows how to deal with these characters. He knows how to contrast them against each other, how to have them interact in compelling ways. And I really liked the casting of, yeah, basically the everyone young in, you know, yeah, everyone in first class, really. Everyone who's still here, at least. And in that movie, I didn't really feel like they were being given enough, you know, really solid material for their character, and here they are. This one even, I'd say that the first class, it has the best of intentions, but it does mess some things up. This one cleans up that mess really beautifully. I mean, this one, there, there were things that I, I couldn't even have imagined, not all in the first class, but just this movie goes in and fixes everything, and it doesn't even feel like, it's, I mean, you know how that, you might have that that you know really helpful guy who comes in and and cleans up after you you know mess something up, and it's almost perfect. Then it just let's lose that little you know overbearing look or a sigh just to let you know he is a little disappointed. He feels like he shouldn't have to. This movie never does that. At no point does this movie make you feel like there is something to fix. It just, you, you almost forget that there was a mess to begin with. It is, it is glorious. I'm so glad the singer is back to, to this franchise. Nobody throw another Superman movie at him because I, I'm watching you and just the mutant powers are used so well. The, the various characters are used so well. It, it's just a fantastic movie with all the strengths of the first two X-Men movies and not really any of the weaknesses. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.